<laughs> Alright, so what is going on everybody? Logan the Gamer here and welcome back to another episode on Princess Connect Redive today, guys. Um It's gonna be a little bit of a different video. Today I'm gonna be making some sort of guide on which characters you're gonna have to aim for if you're gonna be planning on playing the game. Ton of characters, obviously, and I want you guys to make sure you start off with the right ones. Um, so this is also mainly a guide for the English version of the game, which had its recent soft launch, and I managed to um, get access. By the way, guys, it's my uh, sister's birthday today, so e. Make sure you guys wish my sister a happy birthday in the comment section below. Would really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's get started on the guide. So, if you're going to focus on the DPS character, if you're going to be new to the like soft launch to the game or the original version of the game. Um, if you're like going to play the Japanese version, which is the one I'm on right now, um, I would really suggest going for the prefest characters. But if you're going to go for the English version, which there are no prefest characters, I would really suggest Makoto. Now, Makoto. Makoto. Makoto is one of the best DPS characters in the game you can get. Um, she's a 3-star rarity, so if you get her for your very first um, gacha pull as a 3-star, you're pretty much good to go, because this skill over here has the chance to... Actually, it just debuffs the enemy's defense. Which then, if you pair it up with like a very strong character's union burst, it will deal more damage. And this mainly decreases the physical defense. There's not a lot of characters that have this decreasing effect, but Makoto is one of them for the beginning that you definitely want to try and get. And a lot of people really suggest her for your very first, for like, damage. I do as well. Though I never started off with Makoto until I reached like, what, level 90 or 100? Probably 110 even. Uh, moving on to the next character. Um, this one's more of a tank type character. And it's pretty obvious who this one is, Nozomi. Or as I would prefer to say, Nozomi. Now, Nozomi, she is, um, of course, a tank, but she is a very, very good tank in the beginning. Um, basically, she has the potential to taunt enemies using her Union Burst. So meaning all the attacks will like go onto her, which is pretty good, if I would say so myself, though I haven't used Nozomi in a while. So yeah, um, she also has the potential chance of stunning enemies as well with one of her skills, which is also pretty good. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to play either the English or the Japanese version of the game and you don't want to pull for any princess characters, I would really suggest Nozomi for your tank. Um, let's see, who else? <laughs> I haven't been really watching too many of the guides for people lately, but... I'm just trying to see what other characters I would suggest for you guys um, for like three star and stuff, but also one and two stars. The thing is, there's a lot of characters. <laughs> it's hard for me to figure out who I'm supposed to do for suggestions. And obviously, this is a um, different version of the game. Yes, I got a couple more characters in the game. Don't worry, I'll be showing that off soon. Uh, we only have four more characters left to get, of course, as well. Um, but, yeah. Um, now, some of these characters are actually characters a lot of other people suggest. Uh, most people suggest, actually. Um, I'm agreeing with those people as well. Um, one of the other DPS magic characters, Hatsune, or Hatsune. Let me just, uh, oh wait, I can rank, actually let me just give her a couple of quick ranks before I talk about her. She's a really good character, um. Especially when you have her 6 star. When you have her 6 star, she becomes incredibly useful. And like, really powerful. For the Japanese version of the game, that is. Um, for the English version of the game, I would still recommend her. She's, pretty, she's a pretty good character. Lots of magic damage. One of the skills actually stuns the enemies, which is also really nice. She's just a really nice character to have. Legit. Believe me. She's a great character. Um... Another one I would suggest. Um, no, the three I just suggested were actually really good ones. Here's another one I would really suggest. Uh, Maho. Now, I'm mainly also doing this because another YouTuber that actually called Maho actually recommended um, 
my hoe for their um for beginners. And I honestly really agree with them. My house is a very good character. Um, this skill over here can actually, um, if it hits an enemy, basically mo the attacks have a very big chance of missing. And I just noticed all of her s these two skills have Maho Maho in them, which is obviously her name. Uh, but yeah, she's a. I'm not even gonna talk about this. <laughs> uh, but she's a pretty good character. Right, so say if you're gonna go to the Japanese version. Obviously, all the characters from the Prefest banner are really good to get if you're going to start on the Japanese version of the game. The two characters I would really suggest if you're going to go for the Japanese version of the game are Nanaka and Princess Yui. We'll start with the most obvious, Nanaka. Now, because the fact the English version does not have the Prefest characters yet, if we're going to wait for Prefest to finally be announced to be added to the English version of the game, Nanaka is probably going to be your best bet for one of the most... I guess powerful characters in the game and that's because she is she has quite a lot of good magic damage attacks which really stack up on damage if you know how to use them properly then I guess just a really good character overall and in terms of facts um, with her union burst mirror mirror she can be able to clone herself and put a mirror down like a boosting mirror underneath the magic enemy magic characters and um, the uh, mid lane characters that are on there. So like mainly the supports will be getting that extra TP boost, but they'll also be getting like magic boosts and stuff for damage, which is really good. Now it also ups their damage, which is incredibly good for Princess Yui to strike. Princess Yui is of course the preface version of the original counterpart for Yui Kusano. Uh, one of your starting characters, but the Prefest version is only available right now in Japan. Um, her attacks are also really, really relatable. Um, this one basically aims for the backline, for the two backline enemies, which deals some pretty significant damage. Uh, it depends on the backline enemies, though, to me. It can be good in some scenarios, could be bad. Um, this skill basically increases her, I guess, attack power. But it also gives her quite some TP, which is also really good. And if we're gonna get unique equipment for her soon, this is gonna this is gonna be even better. And then there is her union burst, Divine Rain. It's a pretty strong union burst, and in fact, if you pair it up with Nenica, it's gonna do even more damage. Which is why I recommend getting Princess Yui and Nenica. Alright, say you're not gonna aim for any of the um princess characters and you just want to like rank up and try to get a six star character for instance um i can't i don't really know any like six stars you should be aiming for um so we're just going to continue on with the three stars because you know the three stars are good um another one i would really suggest is uh, tomo tomo is a very good damage dealer as well um if not she is probably um to me interesting one some of her skill this skill over here can actually generate her tp oh well her um, uh, talent points i believe i don't know i never got the full work with tp um but the skills are pretty good if i would say so myself i haven't really used them a lot lately because i barely focus on any of the characters in the game uh, but yeah, Tomo is also a very good one. Um, now let's see, another one I would really suggest would be Jira. Jira is actually, if not, the second best DPS character in the game next to Makoto, or Makoto. Now, Jira, she's, um, one of the characters from Grand Blue Fantasy. I believe the game is owned by Psy Games. I haven't played Grand Blue yet. If you guys want an episode on that, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll play it. Believe me. Uh, but yeah, Jira is actually a very, very good character. Mainly because of the skills she has. Especially the skill over here. She can generate TP to herself. I don't believe her the unique equipment. It's going to be even more. Yeah, see, another skill over here that can give her TP. Which is really good. 
again, if you're gonna try, if you're gonna start using Jitta, I would really suggest getting her unique equipment, so you can just spam her Union Burst. I really recommend it, believe me when I say it. I really do. Um, now, continuing on with the Japanese um, type characters you would want to aim for, I would really kind of suggest to, um, let me, let's see who else I can suggest, because this is my first ever time making a character guide, so I'm not really all too confident with this. Let's just go back, let's go for both, I guess. I don't know. But this is my first time making a uh, guide on this game. Like for character wise, I've made like a tutorial on how to play the game, but not really for any characters you should specifically aim for. First time I'm doing this. Um, though, later on in the game, I believe Kasumi will be added. You should really aim for Kasumi when she gets added. Kasumi is a wonderful character you can have, mainly because she um, can hook the physical, like, frontline characters, making them stunned, and she can even turn, and she can even confuse one of her enemies as well, which is also really useful. In terms of fact, I really like using Kasumi. She's a very, very good character to have. For the Japanese version of the game. If you are going to plan on getting her, that's great. You do you. Uh, but yeah, as for then, I want to try and start suggesting some of the 1 and 2 star characters that you should aim for and rank up. And one of the most best ones you can have is Yukari or Yukari. Now, Yukari is actually a um, three type character, she is a semi tank. She's a support, and she's a healer. So basically, she's 3-in-1, which is really great. Um, now, I have her 6-star variant, which, since this is the Japanese version, which is obvious. I'm on there right now. Uh, but yeah, Yukari is technically um, a really powerful character. She's um, pretty good to use. Uh, basically, she can heal her allies uh, with one of these with her first skill, grant TP to herself and then a ran and a random character with her secondary skill. Um, I don't really know much about the EX abilities, and this one's supposed to be seven bells, I believe. But this one, but with her six star, it comes to seven heaven. And basically this casts magic barriers, which are really, really useful. Pair it up if you're going to go for a 1-star, 6-star, like a healer. You should pair Yukari up with Yui. I would really suggest using Yui later in the game than in the beginning. Healers just kind of fall off in the early game. But they rise up in the late game, which is really what you're looking for. Um, especially Yui will definitely rise... If she gets her 6 star in the Japanese version of the game. Uh, the skills she has are pretty straightforward. Nothing all too special. It's a buffing skill. I believe this increases her magic damage or defense. Um, this one definitely gives off damage to the enemies. But when you have a unique equipment. Um, it basically it depletes the enemy's defense a bit. Like It basically lowers their physical defense or magical. Um, and then a Union Burst. Um, heal all basically heals the entire group not by much but when you get to her six star flowering heal she heals a lot more gives speed boosts and she gives physical barriers so you can pair her up with yukari for pvp and you're just gonna have an overpowered team really it's mainly for defense um now for damage dealing if you're going to be playing the japanese version and you want to get six star characters I'll go to those in a bit. For the English version of the game, I would actually suggest going for um, the two-star character, if I can find her. The two-star character, Eriko. Now, myself, I haven't used Eriko yet. I don't really use her much, but I've heard that you need her uh, uni unique equipment to make her at least useful. Um, now, yet again, I don't have any experience using this character. Um, but I can tell by the ability, she's going to be really good, but as you guys can see, I barely did anything to her. It's because I barely use most of these characters. That's why some of them are really low. Um, Shiori is another one I can suggest. Um, 
Anytime she uses her Union Burst, which is Ancient Arrow, anytime she uses it, she basically gives like a buff to herself every time she uses her Union Burst. And it stacks as well, so meaning you can do more and more damage with Shiori, which is uh, one of the really good plus sides. Alright. Now for the final one. Uh, the final damage character I want to talk about. I'm not really going to go much with physical support and that stuff. I'm mainly going to go for damage um, for now. But for the last damage character, I would really suggest Susana. Susana is a really good character, and especially with the Union Burst, it's always a, it's apparently a guaranteed crit. Um, I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed crit, because sometimes when I use her Union Burst, I do not get a critical hit. Which is one of the real downsides. Um, but yeah, Susan is actually a really good character. She gives herself a buff. Um, she can. She basically has like um, another skill which she toss like some sort of dart at an enemy that deals damage. Ex skill, but her union burst, heartbreaker. It's actually really good. Uh, but when you get her to that six star, her union burst changes. Obviously, now I do not know the name of her six star union burst. Uh, but yeah, again, we're far long gone for that. To see her 6-star in the English version of the game. Alright, so enough talking about damage. Let's talk a bit about tanks for the English version of the game. Pecorin is one I would really suggest. Uh, Pecorin is actually a pretty nice tank. Uh, but at the beginning, at 1-star, she kind of tends to be incredibly useless. Which I also found out myself as well. But that's because in the past, I never really used Pecorine up until I started to go for 6 stars. And at the moment when I encountered 6 star Ray, I needed a new tank. Nozomi was not even going to do it anymore. So, neither was Jun. And my best bet then was Pecorine. I used to use the princess version of Pecorine like quite a long while, but she started falling off when I encountered 6 star Ray, so I had to use Pecorine. Which I'm really happy I have her, because she's one of the best tanks I've had by far. Uh, now, she made, her skills are pretty straightforward. She just uh, jumps in the air with her blade and slashes down. Um, this skill over here, basically, she restores health by eating an onigiri. Um, for the Japanese version, though, if you have her unique equipment, uh, it will create a barrier that heals for physical and magical damage whenever she gets damaged. And her Union Burst, Princess Strike, uh, deals... Not quite a lot of damage, and her um, six-star Union Burst, Princess Valiant. I guess the damage goes up a lot more, but yet again, she's a tank. Tanks aren't supposed to deal too much damage. Alright, now moving on to the, ja to the Japanese version of the game. For damage dealing, I would really suggest Hiyori. Hiyori is just an insane damage dealer when it comes to six-star characters. She is just the best of the best to me. Even better than Makoto. Now, 6-star Hiyori is actually, um, when you do not have her 6-star, she's really useless. But, get her to that 6-star, and her Union Burst just becomes insanely overpowered. Also being able to give herself her own buffs. It's just, Hiyori is just such a powerful character when she's 6-star. Please, if you're going to play the Japanese version... Raise Hiyori up to 6 star. You're not going to regret it. You're, in fact, you're going to love it. Alright, same to you with uh, Rei. Now, Rei is also like Hiyori. She kind of falls. She's going to... You got to raise her to 6 star to uh, actually have her be strong, though. Hiyori and Rei are obviously both different. Rei is a single target union burst. Hiyori has a multi-target union burst. What's the difference, basically? Well, Rei only targets one single enemy with a Union Burst. Hiyori targets, like, two or three enemies. Hell, she even, she can even, like, one-shot a whole team if it's only frontline, like, tanks and defense and that stuff. She can just one-shot an entire team. Uh, but, Rei, but good old Rei here, she just focuses on one single enemy in the frontline. Uh, she is pretty good, in my opinion. But that depends on you. Another one I would really suggest is Akino. 
Now, Akira is actually my very first uh, three-star character in the Japanese version of Princess Connect. Uh, and I recently managed to get her in the English version of the game as well for the soft launch. So that's also really nice. Uh, but good old Akino here. She's um, not all that good when you get when you have her three star, but get her to six star, and she is a beast. Is all I gotta say. She's just a beast. I love using Akino, and even though I don't use her in campaign, she is still really powerful. All right now, moving a bit more to the PvP side, Reno. Now, Reno is useful mainly for PvP. Um, I would agree with some people saying that um, Reno is more used with PvP, but she can also be useful in PvE. Now, she's quite a um, good character, also known as the little sister to the main character. Um, her skills are just straightforward. Nothing all too special. She gives herself a buff. Uh, damage enemies. And then in universe, used to be... Um, Arrow Rain, but with her 6 star for the Japanese, it changes to Corona Rain. YouTube, don't be shutting down this video. It's 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 part of the game. It's her Union Burst. It's her ability. I hope everyone understands that. Um, now, another one I would suggest for PvP is uh, Saren. Or Saren, as some people say. I, I just prefer to say Saren. Now, Saren is... Kind of like Akino... Not really all that good in the beginning when she's 3 star, but get her to 6 star. She is pretty good, but I wouldn't say she is really all that useful for a campaign. She's more useful for um, PvP, in my opinion. She is a really good character, that is for sure. But you gotta have some confidence in using her. Uh, let's see who else. Um... So if you're going to go for like an R6 star or something, um, and you're not really going to go for Yui for healing, Kokoro is another option you can have. Now, my Kokoro is still 4 star. I'm trying to get her to 5 star. Because I want to get her 6 star. Uh, Kokoro is actually a very, very good character uh, when you get her to 6 star. She's both useful in both PvE and PvP. Which also gets me to remind me that I have two other versions of her. Her Summer Variant and her Princess Variant. Her Princess Variant is really, really useful. Um, now, the Princess version of Kokoro. Um, basically, when she does this, she basically generates some sort of field around the entire battlefield. That gets all your characters uh, 5 TP. Which isn't that much. But it does give TP at least. And she has another buffing skill which gives 40 TP. So she doesn't really all rely too much on the TP side. But at least she gives some, which is really good. Alright, and for now, the last character I'm going to be suggesting Akari. Now, Akari is um, honestly just a really interesting character, in my opinion. Now, I haven't really used Akari a lot. Obviously, some of these characters I haven't, even, I don't even use. Um, but Akari is definitely one I would suggest because mainly of a Union Burst. It can give Life Steal, which is really good. She also has a debuffing skill as well, which is another one of the characters you would really want to aim for. Now, I don't. Now, I do not know if it's physical or magical. Um, but she would probably pair up really well with Makoto. If you get the chance to get Makoto, that is. If you don't get Makoto, Akari will be your best choice as well. But that's going to be for now for this, um, I guess. I don't know what type of guide I should call this. This is um, well, this is me at least trying to put a guide together for you guys for both. If you're going to start playing either the English or the Japanese version, I would really suggest to like watch this video. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, um, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel with all post notifications on, and comment down below if this guide was helpful for characters you should aim for. And yeah, without further ado guys, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys!